Hey, what up, YouTubers and Rachel players? Didn't see you there. Welcome back to Dennis Fleming's YouTube channel. It's a dark and gray day, so I decided to uh, clean up my game room. Do a little dusting, do a little cleaning, and, you know, a little reading, a little playing. And guess what? I found out, to my surprise, that I have a spare Philips CDI console. All right. Now, that's not the worst part. I also found and read... I should be cleaning, but I also started reading a lot of these old video games magazines. And this is the Dutch Power Limited. They reviewed a lot of games, and I got a lot of these old magazines. And it's like stepping into a DeLorean and just... <laughs> you, you just travel back in time. And I found out that the Philips CDI is a Dutch console. Power Limited is a Dutch video game magazine. So they reviewed a lot of games for the Philips CDI back in the day. And... To my surprise, a shitload of games for the Philips CDI got very good reviews, so I was like baffled. I really think that this console just aged poorly. Yeah, the Angry Video Game Nerd made a review about it, and there you go. You got, uh, you got branded <laughs> as a, a terrible console. And it's not really a video game console, eh? keep that in mind. It's a multimedia console. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the reviews and the grades that... Uh, the games got for the Philips CDI. Be surprised, guys. Be surprised. Here we go. Alrighty then, let's start with Steel Machine for the Philips CDI. This game got reviewed and got an 8.8. .8. Side note, fellow Dutch YouTuber Half Blind Gamer made an excellent review about that game. Here we have four other Philips CDI games reviewed. They all got a 7 plus except for Inca. Inca got a 9. Haven't played this game, but when I read the review, I want to play it. Backgammon, Battleship and Defender of the Crown. Defender of the Crown sucks for the NES, but this version for the Philips CDI gets an 8.7. Here we have both of the Zelda games. They got ridiculed by the AVGN, but uh, this video magazine gives them both a 9. Wow. Next up are two mediocre sport games. Power Hitter, a baseball game, and Video Speedway. Yeah, that's a low grade. The, the sound seems to be terrible for this game and that explains the low grade for Video Speedway. Next up, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is an insane story. How insane would this version be for the Philips CDI? Pretty damn insane. Check out this graphics, man. 8.3. I, I just need to hunt down a copy now. I, I want to play that. Next up, Keter or Keter? I don't know. 9.2. Seems to be a starring ripoff of some kind. Excellent game. For your love that game, but the Philips CDI version seems to be lacking and only gets a 7 plus. Zombie Dinos, on the other hand, seems to be an incredible, incredible game. It gets a 9, another pretty damn high grade for a Philips CDI game. Another high grade coming up, a 9.1 for Space Ace. Yeah, what can I say? It seems to be made for the Philips CDI back then. It was the only quote unquote console that could handle those graphics. A 7 for the 7th guest. That seems to be some kind of a joke. <laughs> and yeah, Dragon's Lair. Same story as with Space Ace. Seems to be made for the console. 8.1. Here we have uh, 4 games. Mad Dog McGree, Zelda. They all get, yeah, good grades. Next up, Burn Cycle. It gets a 9.4. And it, it was on the cover of the magazine. It got blown into heaven. Only good critiques. 9.4. Insane grade. Something else that is also insane is a 7.2 for Mutant Rampage. That game is in my top 3 of the best games for the Philips CDI. I can live with the 7.3 for Lemlings for the CDI. It's an okay game. Not really my genre. Earth Command gets also a 7+. Plus. Next up is Chaos Control. Never play it, but it also gets a high grade 8 plus. Next up, Lingo. Played that game. Multiplayer, pretty damn fun. It deserves a higher grade, grade than that 6.5. It's it's pretty damn fun. Asterix gets destroyed. 4, one of the lowest grades uh, so far. Lost Eden. Well known title for the Philips CDI. It gets an 8.8. .8. Pretty pissed about this next one. An 8 for Pac-Man. I have this game in my collection. It, it's at least a 9. At least. Great game. Great game. 
this game also got ported to a lot of other consoles but the CDI version is hands down the best version. Another Mad Dog game, another A+. Love to play that game uh, back in the day in the arcades. Secret Mission, 7+. Plus. The good games and the good greats keep on coming for the CDI. Another 7 here. I wonder if that is a lie, Marco Polo. Wink, wink. Uh, Zelda's Adventure gets a 7.3. That's more of a realistic grade for that kind of game. Sport Freaks played that a couple of years ago with a couple of friends. Really fun in multiplayer mode, single player mode, it's kind of dull. Looky look, look at those graphics guys, I mean, those look amazing, especially for the Philips CDI. 6.6 .6 is kind of low. Next up is one of the very few platformers, it's Christmas Country for the Philips CDI. It's a great game, if you haven't played it, go out and play it, it's a fun little Christmas game. And the last game that ever got released for the Philips CDI and got reviewed is Shao Dan. So, hey guys, I hope that this list gave you another look at the Philips CDI and its games. It wasn't that bad.